Well, all right. Welcome to the Rantcast. I'm your host, Lito, where we ask the hard-hitting questions nobody else has the heart to. Today, and today only, we're joined by Pell's Twitter darling, a person that everybody believes is amazing. But she ain't never invite me to play basketball, which makes her bad. Right? We will get into that, but first. Well, infinity, huh? Ain't no ending with this here. When the party over, we should be about 60 years old, right. and about 100 million drunk, and chilling with our children. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but tell him, man, this this Chilling with our children. All right, man, listen, this podcast is presented to you by Birds All Law Firm, the official injury lawyers of Buku Media, located at 918 Poison Street by the Super Gnome. Give them a call. Uh, their phone number is 504-523-5413. If you or somebody you know has been involved in an accident, be sure to make sure we sent you. We being me, because I'm the most important person here. Let's get right into it. Well, how you doing? Thank you for joining us today. Great. That, that was it. it was, <laughs> I, That's it. Great. I was just waiting. Okay. Great. Wonderful. Cool. Um, where do I want to go? Let's go here. All right. The Little Mermaid just came out. I know that it's based on your life. <laughs> I want to know. This is my question to you. When, mm-hmm. when did you grow legs? Like, when did you come out of the sea? See, the problem was I don't know how to swim. Wow. So um, I had to get legs really fast. So, uh, you know, babies start to walk when they're around like one or something like that. Um, so around that time when I turned one in uh, 1990, that's when I grew legs. You might be a, the worst mermaid of all time. Well, uh, you know, a lot of black people can't swim. Um, that's so that's kind of how that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you a, just a follow up question there. You, you're, you're in a city that's about uh, 100% water. Um, just kind of like wanted to know, like, how do you get around? You know, I don't know. Let's, I don't know. Like, for instance, let's just say the city floods. I mean, it'll never happen, but let's like, how do you, how do you, how do you navigate the? Well, uh, you know, I grew legs when I was one, and then uh, actually on my 16th birthday, I got bit by a pelican. Um, mm-hmm. so we, we getting there, buddy. Yeah, when <laughs> stuff starts, you know, flooding and stuff, I just start the you you hold flooding. your horses because we getting there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah um, let me let, let's let's let me ask you a question. I don't know. I don't know if anybody has ever asked you that, and of course nobody has because I'm the best interviewer of all time. Let's let's just cut to it. How did you get into the media space? How did you how did you come the real Myers that we see today? It's funny you said media space. Um, I've been doing all this crazy stuff, bro. I actually went to outer space and I was on Chris Connor's show. In space with Chris Conner, right? Uh, I think you might have heard of it. Did you know he's not an actual astronaut? He is because I seen him out there in space. And that's how I got into the media space because he was like, hey, yo, I'm going to pull you up on stage on, you know, an unnamed planet. I won't tell you where it's at because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the spot is still there. We, we don't want to mess up our rendezvous spot. So, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's how that happened. That's fine. It was Chris. Yeah. It was all Chris. Everything's if, Chris. If fault. you, oh, it's his fault. Okay. Uh, as long as it's blame we giving Chris and not flowers because we, we gonna have to end in this in this interview right now. If you think I'm gonna sit up here and listen to that, um, any advice you have for up and coming content creators? Did I did I lose? Uh oh. Uh oh. Let me see. Did I? <laughs> I think I lost it. <laughs> it's all good. That's great. Now I'm in here twice. Wow, there we go. That's, that's I just awesome. I just asked the over and loud. That's crazy. I think I could stitch that together. Don't worry about that. Yeah, as soon as I say everything, Chris fault. I was see what I'm saying? Was starting to talk. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see? You see how you see how that works? I said his name three times in the see? mirror. See? Blame happens. Yeah. Um, you you 
So let me ask, did you have any, 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 did you aspire to be where you're at? Was this always a dream of yours? Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say it was. It kind of just happened, you know, organically. And I feel like that's the best way for, you know, things to shake down. Just, you know, just let it happen. Let it grow naturally. Are you saying that? So, so basically talent is going to rise to the top and like you just better than everybody else. And there was no plan to do this. It's just that once you're that good at doing something, you'll get selected to do it. Uh, Hey, from your lips to God's ears. Hmm. That's how it happened. <laughs> Praise them. All right. Any advice for up and coming content creators? Because then we we just about to get it. I'm I'm gonna truly get. I need to get all the inspiration stuff out of the way. Yeah. Uh, be yourself, man. I, I'm I'm kind of weird. I'm kind of quirky, a little nerdy. Like we all got, you know, we're all nerdy about certain things. Um, just be you. You know, I found a picture of myself when I was little, making a face that I still make today. I didn't even know I was always like that, but just <laughs> I'm just being me. So that's it. Keep creating. Mm, keep creating. That's what she said. Facebook deep. All right. <laughs> let's go. Here we are. We're officially here now. When was it that you officially started going by rail? Hear me out, though. Don't <laughs> tell me in terms of the actual year. Tell me in terms of what television show was out at the time. Ooh, wow. Yeah, yo, like, I'm really good at this. I don't know if you... <laughs> yeah. What television show was I? I mean, Making a Band might have been on TV at the time. One of those Making a Bands. Was they walking for Cheesecake Making a Band? Like, what was it? It was after that. It was after that one. Post that. And then you were just like, Hot. so can you walk us through, like, what to, you just walked up and you was It was like, a whole hey. thing. It was like, nobody could say Ariel. Did everybody say Ari, like... Ariel, you know what I mean? Like, my name is just Ariel, bro. Ariel, that's it. And somebody was like, how do you say your name? R-E-L? And they were like, no, if her name was that, it would just be Rel. And from that day forward, everybody Rel just born. started calling me Rel. <laughs> mm, Rel was born. That's, yeah. I like that. No, I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm just Rel. I just could see, yeah, motherfucker, I'm Rel. Yeah, I'm gonna put that shit on a t-shirt. Yeah. My, ooh! <laughs> all proceeds please uh nah but um that's truly inspirational thank you for that listen i see the hashtag rails pals a lot um how long have you been the owner of the new orleans pelicans and how much was the buy-in if you don't mind us asking well, you know sometimes we make big deals like that you can't disclose like the numbers and everything I'll call um, us broke call us broke but <laughs> i would say uh uh, 2020, um, you know, the pandemic had just hit. Um, Gail was looking for a couple new red blazers with the, you know, with the Pelican pen on the, on, yeah. yeah. Uh, she was looking for a couple more of those. So I said, look, I got two of them. I'll give you these two plus some cash, undisclosed mm -hmm. amount. Let me, let me get a, you know, share the team. And she said, and I quote, I bet. That was it. You heard, you heard it first. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see any lie. Can we? Can we fact check that? Hey. Don't, no, don't worry about it. It, it. She said it. It's cool. Um, nah, shit. I'm going to have to holler at Gail. Hey. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, G, let me in. That's crazy. Um, all right. So you may not be the actual majority owner of the team, but you are Pell's 12 legends. Can you explain to the people out there who are not familiar with the Pels 12 what it means? The easiest, quickest way to explain it is a former player said, yeah, all 12 of y'all saying that we got like 12 fans. And we was just like, ha, that's funny. Uh, and then a company by the name of Blue Crew Media actually started selling some shirts that say Pels 12 versus all y'all, something like that, or versus the world. I don't remember what it says. Who's... I haven't worn my shirt in a while. It's been a long summer. But anyway. Are you talking about the... The Justin Jermaine that that <laughs> that that guy that guy was a terrible. Interview. That's what y'all call him, Jermaine. That's his name? Yeah, Justin Jermaine. Yeah, his his middle name is Jermaine. Interesting. Uh, well, yeah, no, no, no. I uh, that's how the Pills Twelve came to be. We was like, hey, let's do some watch parties. The team ain't been doing nothing because um, you know, they, they don't really put on great events like that. Uh, so we did it, and people showed up, and we had fun, and we just kept doing it over and over and over again. And then the team decided they wanted to do it too. Um, 
But I don't think we have enough time to go down that rabbit hole. Sir, cause, <laughs> cause, huh, cause, cause, my sister in Christ, we, huh, <laughs> we can talk about. I know. <laughs> you know what just, I'm saying? You know, hey, I'm not saying we invented watch parties. I'm just saying we don't we don't have parties. We are the party, and that's the difference. And that's what I would like for our counterpart to understand. But me being a minority owner and a minority, uh, they don't really listen to what I be saying. So we gonna have to get the people. To get um, the as a as a person who has had uh, dealings with that organization before, um, I can. We don't have to fact check this. This is this is this is true. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So it's funny. Can I tell you a short story real quick? Go ahead. Of course I can because it's my yeah, show. It's your show. Listen, I ran into JJ Redding in Vegas. We were talking. You know, he recognized the importance of my presence, and he, and he said. And I quote, I don't have a problem with the Pelicans. I only had a problem with Griff. And he was like, I basically, I like what y'all have done with the 12 thing. I didn't mean it as a diss. Yeah. So, when he came down on his live podcast, he started the show out by being like, look, anybody from the Pels 12 in the audience? And you know me, I wasn't just going to be like, woo, I stood up. I'm right here, dog. No doubt. No <laughs> doubt. He respected that? What he said? For sure. He was like, hey, listen, it's not any beef. You know, um, somebody said something to me and I said this back and I was referring to X, Y, and Z and not the whole fan base. And I was like, hey, look, you cool with me, dog? So, you know, how, how wild is New Orleans that people would take a, uh, a, a, a diss and they would make it the phrase... That that raised the flag for the upcoming <laughs> season of like that would only happen in New Orleans. Like nobody, yeah. every, no other nobody's gonna be like, yeah, we the Knicks twelve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, yeah, they, right. yeah, we 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 crazy dog. Like, we're not gonna we, let you we, talk we, about we, us. We will point. We'll you know we're we'll point at ourselves. We're not gonna let you do it. I, I think that's New Orleans in general. Like you you could, for instance, I might be. God damn, I'm about to say something good about Chris Connor. Oh um, no, cut. I'm about to unplug the router no, at your house. Let's just move forward. Let's just move. Forward. That's crazy. I cannot. Give me your all-time Pelican starting five. Man, unfortunately, at point guard, I'm gonna have to go with Chris Paul. Um, at the two, you know, man, that's tough. I, I'm really, and this is just me personally. You know, these lists are subjective, or whatever. Absolutely. The ain't nobody go, ain't nobody go, hold on, hold on. Ain't nobody <laughs> gonna say nothing about your list. Like they're not. I'm telling you, every time I do a top five, man. I'm just saying. Uh my dog Drew gonna go at the two. That's cool. Good guy. Um guy. let's see. At the three. Mm-hmm. I'm actually gonna be at the three. I was gonna mm-hmm. go all the way back and go with Jamal Mashburn, but I really don't have a connection to him. Um no doubt. for the foe. I'm gonna go with David West, and at the five, I'm going with your uh, your namesake, your doppelganger, your lookalike, uh, Demarcus Cousins. Just hold on one second. We talked. We we. I thought we told her we we couldn't do that. He playing basketball in Puerto Rico. Oh. All right. Um. Solid. He getting paid. Yeah. Solid yeah, yeah, list. Yeah. For sure. Solid for sure. List. Yeah. Gotta so that's just my personal. Time. You know, that's people I have a, a connection to. I guess. Solid list. And you got to take care of your family. So wherever you can play basketball, you, you play basketball. That's what I do. I mean, that's what he does. So. Hey, he ain't got nobody in his way playing pickleball. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> Let me calm down. Almost real. <laughs> you almost had me right there. You, you almost had you me. Did. You almost yeah. had me. Reel it in. Um, what NBA player, what NBA player do you hate the most? Ooh, man. Can I pick like three of them? Please. There's a lot of hate over here. I don't know if you see my name, but it says elite hater. <laughs> uh Rudy Gobert is up there on that oh, top three. Baguettes. Up there. Um every time I see him, I just think French baguettes. I don't know. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Eric Gordon. Oh. Eric Gordon's definitely up there. And for the third, man, it could be so many people. Um for the third, I don't know. I'm gonna just stay at two. It's too hard. You got more hate in your heart. If you got more hate in your heart, definitely. Just don't like never, a bunch of people. Don't never stop the hate. If you got hate in your heart, you gotta Man. let that. Dylan Brooks, I could definitely say him. 
That's number three. Respect that. I respect Dylan. Yeah. I like it. I, I kind of, I mean, I kind of wish the Pels would sign Dylan Brooks. Man. Hey, look, you know, I'm, I'm a cheer for whoever uh, on the court is all I'm going to say. I got a, I'm not going to tell the story, but I'm going to just tease y'all and tell y'all half the story. I was in LA one time at a party in Hollywood and me and Eric Gordon kind of, kind of got into, we kind of got into a thing and, and I'm going to let my partner Byron tell the story on Twitter because he go watch this and then he go at it. So let's just move forward. Okay, um, cool, cool. I got okay. What player? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, let's let's do that. What player do you secretly wish was a Pelican? Ooh, that's where you get the. This is what we ask the hard hitting questions that nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, who do I secretly wish was a Pelican? Probably somebody like um, man, not none of the big names, not none of the Hardens and the KDs and none of those guys. Probably like a. Uh, Jackson Hayes? Nah, probably like a Mikael Bridges, maybe like a Shea wow. Gilgis Alexander, yeah, somebody like that. We could, we could, I w- I w- I'm very curious to see what a foul merchant looks like on our team. They're going to give them the calls or they're not going to give them the calls. Which which way do we go? I don't know. You know, we talking basketball now? Is that what we doing? Hey. <laughs> you know, I'm hoping that B.I. comes into this season and he – from playing in FIBA, and I'm I'm hoping that he takes this foul merchant thing seriously. Like I'm I'm hoping it. I and I, 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 I get it. We too real to flop. I get it. No, no, yeah. no. Please just draw the foul. Yeah. <laughs> do what you gotta do, man. Cause Zion ain't gonna get the call. Cause he just he just he's strong. He just he's grown. That boy's grown. grown. He ain't gonna get the calls. He ain't, he ain't gonna get the call. Um, G Tim got signed today by a team. I'm not gonna say the team, but he got signed today by a team. Did you have anything to do with that? As a minority owner, no, I ain't, I ain't had nothing to do with that. They don't he, listen to me. I say, you ain't plays a call for your dog. You ain't. Nah, nah. I thought he was gonna hang it up. I didn't know he wanted to move to Canada. Like that's crazy. I was trying to get him to hang it up. That's crazy. That's what. Hey, look, he wow. getting three point two million. I'm getting five dollars a month to do a podcast, dog. So hey, talk to G Tim, man. <laughs> that three point two million. That's your rolling, man. Play as long as you can. Just don't do it here. Um, <laughs> what does this quote mean to you? Bro. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. When things, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. That phrase is kind of weird. I've never heard that before. Um, yeah, but it kind of sounds to me like embrace the weird is what I'm getting from that, and uh, I think I like it. Yeah, all right. I think I like it. All right, all right. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Let's see. Tell, tell us something about you that nobody you you don't really get a chance to broadcast on social. Not not a, not not something that's a secret. We won't relic you a secret, but something that you, you, you we might find fascinating. I uh, I may be old and busted now, but uh, I was recruited to go play ball in college uh, before Katrina happened. That was a thing. It was a real thing that happened, and I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you though if I had taken that route. So, I, know. I, mean, I think you did the best thing. You Everything happens thing. for a reason. <laughs> yeah, you did the best thing. Honestly, like you, you turning all of that, that fanfare and and like you know nice money down. There was just, no nil, dog. I wouldn't have got no money. So you know, it's all right. I mean, you probably would have been overseas. Hey, nothing wrong with that. What can you tell us where you got recruited? And 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 I'm gonna ask you. I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm gonna let you actually answer that question first. Mississippi State. Okay. Can I can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. As a guy who's a who's a proprietor of of good basketball, we go get to this. But I seen your wrists. <laughs> seen your wrists, and I know Just what I'm, my wrist, bro. I know what I'm looking at. I know what I'm looking for. My, like my eyes don't lie. Like I tell people all the time. Like I'm not. I might can't give you like analytic stats off the top of my head, mm-hmm. but my eyes don't lie to me. The eye test. Okay. My your wrist. Told me everything I needed to know. <laughs> it did. What did my wrist say? Your wrist, your wrist told me that the jump shot not a fluke. Like that shit real. <laughs> I got reps in. Speaking of real, let me ask you a question. Are you AI? Uh, I definitely am. You are. I am. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. My you know dad's how... computer technician. My creator, rather, is a computer technician. He knew how to do all that. 
that you know how I know your AI because when you only showed me one hand just now when you raised it up, I didn't see both hands. And then the other thing, the other reason I know your AI, the way you're sitting, I know you don't have legs. I got the legs when I was one. We already talked about this. Yeah, but you turn fishtail into leg. Like I don't. What did when they just born. retract? And then I got the pelican bite, and so when I want to turn it on, I could just fly up out this joint. What you got? Convertible roof legs? They they you a transformer? Convertible roof legs. Yikes. I don't know what they're doing up there, but uh <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying you you talking like you're a trans all right. Um, I'm sorry. Uh oh cool. This this is the next question. I like to broadcast my next questions. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay. Next question. I'm slightly offended you never asked me to play Name That Pelican. That's not really a question. I'm just feeling vulnerable. Can I ask you a question? Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what you want? Let's see. What you got? When would I have been able to do that? One second. She's good. <laughs> she's not. She, she. Um, I've... Well, listen, we're going to have to stop this narrative. I've seen you many times now. You you always say you don't. I'd be like, well, I say, well, I'm going, I'm, well, I'm going to the game. Well, I'm going to be at this game. Nah, you don't broadcast where you're going to be at. You don't do that. I always hit you on the. That's crazy. Nah. Well, I like. Have I seen you since like October? Like. <laughs> I don't really think so. You see the difference is like the sections you'd be sitting in, it'd be so much lower than where I'd be at. So obviously you wouldn't see me. If you just wanna if you if you you if you if we have an honest talk, what is this? A chalk talk? You you wanna <laughs> look man, you know where I'd be at before the game, in the event that you actually come outside and go to a game. But no, oh you you the other media man though, that's the thing. You like media man part two. So you be having access to parts where I can't even get to. So I don't really know. Yeah, Pardon? man. I think you I think you with the media dog. I Pardon me? I'm I'm AI. Oh. I'm, I don't exist outside of this little box right here. Gotcha. Okay, 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 okay. Well then that further drives the point home. When would I have been able to do name that player slash who's that bird with you? You know what? Just... You know what? Because because we've never you've never Offered me to play because that's the story that we're we're sticking to. Rel, right. okay. Because you've never done that. How about this? We got a special edition of Name That Bird for you. Uh oh. Are you ready? It's gonna be bad. I'm ready. All right. It's it's gonna be easy for you. Put me All on right. shot clock. Here we go. I ain't got a, I ain't got a clock, but you know what I'm saying. Just let's just take ten seconds. Count the one Mississippi State. Oh All right. wow. Damn. <laughs> Dog, who is I have no idea who that is. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. All right. Zero clue. He's not important. It don't matter. Yeah, I, don't hey, look. I don't know who he is either. So uh you, that's it, no answer. Just no answer. Pass. He got a good jersey number. All right. Jesus Christ. I do know who this guy is. Mm -mm. I ain't got it. This Notice is... when I do these games, I only do Pelican players. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Cool. I had to hit you with a technicality. You know? Hey, look, that's cool. The crazy thing about this guy is he ended up being the first G League GM for, I cannot think of the team now. Uh, but this is Pops, Mr. Bansu. Uh, what? Yeah. I didn't know he ever played down here. Yeah, it's all good. When I got bit by that pelican, I actually was like, you know, they no, were no. hornets at the time. So. Listen, no, no, no worries. No worries. I do have a pelican for you, though. <laughs> Last one. I got a pelican for you. You ready? <sighs> Who's that bird? Who's this bird? You, whoa! Whose face is that? Is that Larry June? Cut, cut the that that's crazy. That was that, that necessary? Was, was that that was hey yeah? Uh, that was weird. So so you don't know this guy like this 
this guy for the public. You... This is a um, excellent uh, photo shop work. Uh, Photoshop. The head on this gentleman. Uh, it's not ringing a bell. He looked like pickleball player of the year. That, he like to me. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just let's just let's just get into it. I'm going to abolish pickleball across the United States of America. I just need to know: Are you with me? I'm with you, and you know why? I found out something earlier today that was like the perfect time for me to find this out. They got a place that's got like three pickleball courts, and it's a bar. So people can go and gentrify the neighborhoods with pickleball while also having alcoholic beverages. Did you know about this? No, I did not. You go ahead. Called the Exchange. Where Where is this place? Uh, it's like by Chapatula's Walmart. They put it up. They put it in my uptown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Send a strongly worded email to the Exchange. Put yeah, that it's on. It's gonna be an Exchange. Walmart. Yeah. We going up there. You could book a court. Watch me book the court and go start playing I'm, basketball. I'm going to book it. I'm just going to book it, and I'm just going to sit there so nobody else can play. I'm going to sell my minority share in the team and book it full, like, all the time so nobody I, can play. I like that. I like the pettiness. We should That's team up budget. together. Absolutely. Moving on. Real, I never want to play that game because you're not about to embarrass me in front of all your 50 million fans. That's why yeah. I don't play it myself. You know, it just <laughs> – when you're on the hot seat, it's different. When you got time to really think, you know, it's – no, nah, I, I, I don't. Um, Camp Rail, Camp Rail. Are you a counselor and a camper? Yes. Wow. I do both. You I show are, up. You are a woman of many hats. Yeah, get in there. This is what I'm doing today, and then I do it. How the hell do you wake up at five thirty, five o'clock, and do this? Do you, do you go to the gym every day? Just about. Just about every day. Yeah. Uh, once upon a time, I worked at a couple places where I have to be at work at like five forty-five in the morning. And even though I don't have to do that anymore, it's very easy to start doing that again to get up that early. So I just go, I go like to bed it. at ten, get off Twitter for the first time all day. I get off at ten p.m. <laughs> Can I, I get up I at five? The, let me tell you, the problem with the the camp to me is like you never invited me to hoop. Are you going to get up at five thirty? Actually, you're going to get I mean, up at whatever time you have to get up to get to the gym at 5.30? That's the real question. I mean, it's, I mean, I I have a baby, so I technically I'm not ever sleeping. You got a membership in a yarmulke? So, so, so the yarmulke, yes, the membership, I'm probably going to sneak in. Interesting. Wow. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe in um, paying for um, not on record anyhow um yeah yeah <clears throat> interesting excuse me interesting um hey i have a question can you read only a little bit okay i'm gonna i'm gonna what's the last book you read it's called what i wish i knew before i had followers that's the name of the book mm. it's deep tell us about it uh, it's an ebook by a content creator who just started posting about how she had a baby and she wasn't planning on having a baby. And she just talked trash about her baby daddy and started selling ebooks and stuff. And um, she kind of inspired me for my next thing that I'm getting ready to launch in a couple months. So that, that one, that one ebook changed my whole life. Is it? Is this a? Is this a? Is this a sneak preview of you? You gonna tell us what it is? Or you just gonna tease us with the, the hate, information? Uh, you go jump. You go jump up on us. That's all I can say, realmyers.com. You go there, you're not going to find nothing but a coming soon page, but it's coming soon. Are you a Jedi? You know, I've never seen those movies before. And right, every now know. and then I like to bring that up just to make people upset. You want to upset me. Let's just keep moving. Uh, can you read this? Yes. I'm not going to read it out loud. Wow. But I, I, I know what it says. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lady can't follow instructions. Uh, you know. Um. So, word on the street is you are a big, big fan of '90s music. Boy bands, to be specific. Boy bands to be '90s specific. boy bands. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, I have a question for you. What song makes you feel like this? What 
What's that? That actual song that I was playing in that moment. Yeah. From You Got Serve. Yeah. I used to go home after school every day and watch You Got Serve every day for like months. Mm. I'm talking like at least four days out of the, out of the week. Um, it was like a comfort movie at the time, I guess. I don't know. But uh, that song, you know, that song made me do that. We were in the suite that night. We were actually in a hub club, and then we got moved to a private suite that had catering in the suite. And we was beating down on the Chicago Bulls. I was having a really good night. It was my friend's birthday. And uh, the song came on, and I was breathing in and breathing out, and I was doing it. You, you got one more time? Wow, you got, some real, you got some real loose shoulders. Hey, Summer Camp Rail. Got a stretch. Mm. Much like CJ, I stretch. That's why I didn't laugh at CJ's face, because I stretch. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... For one, you have some fire moves, so I just wanna, I just wanted to, I, I couldn't keep that to myself. Like I, much appreciated. You know, I, I saw that, I saw that club last year. Never, never been invited to the hub club. Never been invited to have a spread in the VIP. Never put up to the gas station with the tank on E. Um, I did some research on you, bro. Ooh. So you were in the band. Oh yeah. You were in the band. And I was I, the band. I I found I found that out, and I I just wanted to know how what what type of music were you to sing? Like, how did you how did yeah. this how did this go? Singing, songwriting, I was doing yeah. it all. Yeah, what, one time I was in an actual band with like other people. Yeah. That was like a decade ago. Then a few years ago, I made like a resurgence, and it was just me. And like you. garage band and stuff, yeah. What um, what type of music? Uh, it was kind of emo. It was like soft rock. Mm. Are, you, are you are are you still making music today? I'm not because I'm no longer emo, so it's kind of hard to write about that stuff. When you're not so, in that headspace. So you do 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 is is emo just a phase? Nah, I wouldn't say that. It was just, you know, based on events that was happening in life at the time, it was easier to just boom, 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 boom. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. what was me gotcha. type of stuff. I gotcha. Gotcha. I was going to ask you if you want to sing us a song, but... Um... I don't think I got the guitar tuned up, and I definitely don't go acapella, so... I got the guitar. I can hold it for the rest of the interview. <laughs> All right. That's that's good to know. Um, give me a Pell's prediction for this season, record-wise. They still not gonna get fifty wins. I want it to happen, but I don't think that they'll get fifty. I think that they'll still do a lot of dumb stuff that'll cause them to lose games that they should win, and they'll get forty, but they won't get fifty. You know, this season, um, past season, I saw you. If it, it, it kind of felt like the pals broke you um, mentally, like hey, I, I should have started writing music again. You're right. When the pals broke me, I should have started writing. When it was in that ten game skit, that was the time. I, what do you I, say? I feel I feel like you are a pretty positive person, and I and I and I saw you turn a I saw you turn it's a little bit to the dark side. You know when you love someone so much and you realize they don't love you back, mm. <laughs> just it puts you in a dark space. You know? Can I tell you something? What's uh, a great a great uh, queen prophetess once said, you know, love is blind and it'll take over your mind. And if you think it's love, it's truly not. You need to elevate and find. That's a bar. Um, I got some fan questions for you before we get out of here. Oh, yeah. If you Let's feel like it. answering some questions. For sure. All right, cool. Shout out to uh, the original media man. <laughs> How many shots have I shot during my summer camp? She can't read. We got her. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Uh, that's a tough estimate. That's a tough estimate because I've been doing summer camp for like three straight months now, uh, at least three days a week. I will say that I start with forty before I start moving around in mid range. I start with like thirty form shots and ten free throws, and then I start moving around to everything else. So, um. I can read, but I definitely can't do math. But I know that Conrad Reed is a scholar and a gentleman who is degreed. He can figure that out. 
He's a much better interview than Chris Conner, too. <laughs> Way better. Uh, shout out to Joe. Uh, Joe wants to know what the what kind of a sound does a pelican really make? And he said, "Really in all caps." Really make, yeah. Really yeah. needs to know. Joe knows that I'm passionate about this. Um, the sounds that we make, all the ahs, all those things, yeah. all that. Yeah. Those are very, very fun sounds. Yeah. Much better than the sound a pelican actually makes. The pelican sound sounds more like. Um, it's giving World War Z vibes. I don't know if you're a fan of that film, but it's kind of like, uh, 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 uh. it's oh, terrible. Uh, it's a terrible sound. You can't get an arena full of people to do that. Well, you know, it's a death bird. Pause. It's a death bird. So it's a. Uh, it, that sound matches. Yeah. It, I mean, it It literally like if you, it would try to eat a child if you. That's the sound I heard when the pelican bit me on my birthday, bro. It's crazy. It's That's a good wild. thing nobody was at my birthday party to see that happen. You had yes, you had a birthday party by yourself. Yeah, man. So, so like, was anybody invited? Like, oh, they was invited. They just didn't come. You know, that's why it was a really big deal last year after Vegas for me to have a birthday party, and then I got COVID. So just f my life, bro. It's terrible. Oh, is that so? Is that the birthday party you didn't invite me to? Hey, it was open invitation from the other Pels Twelve co-owner people. Um, Nobody, I don't think you ever met them because you won't be outside. So nobody, nobody hit me. Nobody, 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 uh, nobody hit me up to. Yeah, I don't think they know you. That's crazy. Yeah. Never met. Make sure you send the pals while we email tomorrow. We're not gonna check it, but anyhow, we're gonna straighten um... this shit out. Um, oh god, uh, look at the and look at the question. This this guy's a this guy's just a jerk. Well, what's her favorite pickleball court to visit in the city when she gets up at 5 a.m. every morning? Well, I try to go to the basketball court at the Jewish Community Center. Shalom, my brother. Shalom. Uh, but they be having pickleball nets in the way sometimes. Uh, can't even sit down and put my LeBron 15s on. So uh, it's tough. That's, it's hard. That's your, that's your basketball shoe? Uh, for the time being, I'm trying to get some job ones. I'm not gonna lie to you. I want the mismatch it's colorway. I it's want smooth. the mismatch bad. It's smooth, yeah. So I'm wishing. But that's mm-hmm. what I got. I got the 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 Giannis freak zoom ones or whatever. But they was pressing on my Achilles, and you know, you know, you know about Achilles injuries. I can't have that. I don't, I don't like it. Wow. Yeah. It's uncomfortable. I couldn't do it. Wow. You just do an Achilles injury on me, like. Weird. Demarcus, um, we're not gonna act like that never happened. Zero doubt, bro. We just, we, that's just because this is. There you go. Whoa, man, is he insane? He want to ask me to pick Frank Jackson or Garrett Temple. He's the only Garrett Temple stand I know, and I'm the only Frank Jackson fan that I know. I'm picking Frank Jackson. Y'all need to do a show together. <laughs> Y'all need to unite your powers of uh, miserable basketball and like in and just form an alliance so like y'all both can I actually ran into him after a game one time and he Whoa. is exactly the same. Oh Kai, yeah, Kai, yes. Kai is a uh, wild magnolia uptown um yeah. He's a character. Shout out to Kai, man. And shout out to this guy, man. One time for the boy, man. Hey. You know what I'm saying? We here, and um, we just going to keep making history. Um, Rel, tell the people where they can find you at. On all my socials, is at Rel Myers. R-E-L-M-Y-E-R-S. And coming soon, RelMyers.com. I don't like that you keep saying that, and you're not telling us what's coming soon. I, I really don't. The website. What's going to be on the website is what's coming soon. <laughs> You about to give me a brain aneurysm? Because I, I when, when, can you you go tell us when? Around uh, training camp. And in case the people don't know when training camp is, that's about sixty three or so days away. You have it. You have it marked. You have the days marked. Uh, you know, I got calendars, countdowns. Oh, because you pals real. You pal. You pal real. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. You gotta be no ready doubt. for lunch, bro. You gotta, no you know, doubt. And then we get closer. I start teasing stuff. Maybe I will come back on Lido's rants. Talk about Please. that again. Talk when about you come back, in the game, you know. When yeah. you come back, whoa, whoa. All right, this interview's over.